I'm sitting here thinking like, it's the end of the year, it's December, and I feel like you get thrown many tests. You get thrown plenty of tests that's gonna come your way. And it's up to you, how do you handle them? We all in the same boat right now. We all struggling. We all waiting for a way out to come up. We all trying to get more than what we got right now. And when you get put in that position, you just have to stay calm. You have to tell yourself, you ain't the only one that's in a bad position or struggling, and that everything is going to be all right. Come on. He doesn't have a catheter, so he might need it. Camera? Everything gonna get better. Your workstation is through here. The struggle don't last forever. It's a bit of a mess, but what is it? And what don't kill you is gonna make you stronger. Cal? Monitor? Television? It's like, when you can't see things, then you expect it to be like, I don't know, you want more support because with everything that's going on right now, and you can't see like the virus and the pandemic exactly. You can see the results from it. You see so many people dying, but with you not being able to like see it in your face, a lot of people still have been forced to have to go out. They're going to work, they're going to get that money and they're taking their risks no matter what could possibly happen to them or their family. I mean, see I got, I'm living with uh, two elderly people that I love. My grandmother has dementia, and my grandfather, he's 82 years old, he has bad liver problems, things like that, and respiratory issues. So me, being uh, what I do is I'm a, 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 a bodyguard and private security. So me working in security as well as working in the food industry as a cook, I had to uh, stop doing both of those when the pandemic hit. So since I stopped doing that, it's, it's like everything was cool at first. We had a little support at first, but not much. But now that it's like at the end of the year, we still have nothing to show for it. The government hasn't assisted anybody anymore. And it puts you in a position where it's like, hey, what do I do? Do I continue to stay in this position and struggle? But to know that it's for the betterment of the family and that everybody's safe another day knowing it feel it make you feel better knowing that every day that they safe. It's like that you're not out there risking it. Cause you could be. But on the other hand, it make you feel like, hey, I'm missing this money, you know what I mean? It ain't no guarantee that a person will get sick or you will get sick or bring nothing back home that'll potentially get them sick. And right now, ain't no dollars coming in. You're starting to struggle. You're starting to feel like it's starting to weigh on you a little bit. You're starting to stress a little bit and worry and uh, think about different ways of accumulating funds when there's no way without potentially putting yourself in hazard. So it's like, when they're doing the down to it, it's tough. But right now, I'm gonna try to hold on a little longer. And not have to go out, you know what I mean? Make any kind of sacrifice to try to pull funds in. Yet, and I know I ain't the only one in this position. So I'm just sharing my thoughts on it because I know it's a lot of people probably in the same position that's been trying to do the right thing or the best they can. So definitely, everything gonna get better going to do our best to uh, still continue to move on, keep pushing, staying safe, and hey, going to stay prayed up. Hopefully some support get here soon. We know God got us covered regardless. So we're going to just keep trusting in that. That's what you're supposed to do.